So it's my hope that you can uh, view this video in your phone while you execute the steps in your computer browser. So I want to show you real quick how to create a basic website in SiteGround. And I, I'm, this is just a skill that I've learned. So I'm sure there's a like web developer or somebody who's very more technically inclined that can probably show you best practices and procedures. But this is just something for the business person, the entrepreneur that needs to get a website up and rolling. I want to show you how easy it is. All right, so we're at SiteGround here. And the first thing we're going to look at is we want a website, right? So let's go into web hosting. I'm doing this on a fly too because really we're going to go into bestseller web hosting, $3.95 a month. That sounds affordable, right? Your cable sounds cost more than that. You spend more than that at the corner store daily. Maybe we can start a business. I Of course, there's going to be more costs, but this is a good starter cost. Okay, so we're going to say get started. Now, I already have a website, so some of this I won't be able to do. But let's say, so now the first thing we have to do is buy a domain. So what we're looking at, what SiteGround is, is a host. When you own a domain, that's pretty much the your it's like a name. It's a trade name that you you have the rights to use that name and store your content there and all of this. However, there has to be a server and that server has to interact with people's web browser because when they go to that domain, you have to have services or something, you know, running there and you need a hosting company to 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 um a hosting company has to host your domain. That's where your website resides. Now, I already have a domain, but if you were doing this, we would say register a new domain. And then you wanted to register a domain. That's, I like to be interesting. I don't want to go with the .com. So I'll go down here and I want to say expert, right? I want to be an expert at something. Yeah, you can do whatever. Or you could be, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to find something because you can you got to go in here like if I said donuts and dot coffee right say I want to register this domain I'm pretty sure somebody already took it because that's like not unique see so, so they say the domain you have chosen is not available so when you find a domain that's available anything goes dot coffee right so let's say we want to do that domain. Uh oh. I put a space in here. And I'm going to proceed to register this domain. Ta da! So we get to this next screen because the domain is available. So this is your initial registration information where you have to complete the information. So we're just going to go to the next phase. So once you have the domain, when you have the domain, you'll go up here. Actually, it's going to log you in. But when you log in, I'm going to show you where you're going to come to. So I'm logged in now, right? And you see up here, it says text Masson. It has me in this account up here. Now, where I want you to go next is you're going to go under my accounts because the domain that you just purchased is going to be under my accounts, right? So now, Here's the domain that I just purchased. This is actually my domain. It's called cashbuy.email. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to really teach you something. I'm going to teach you something that I'm doing to make earnings online. And I'm just going to share it with you in the process of kind of like how I'm showing you the website that I'm actively building right now. So I'm actually going to build this. So the first thing that you have to do, which is important, you have to understand this. This is your domain and it's hosted on a site ground. SiteGround is your ultimate host, for lack of better terms. But now, when you build your website, you need to build the website on a platform. So you have a host that hosts the platform, and the platform is which your website is built on. So we have the host, which is SiteGround. We have the domain name. You have a control panel. That's what the C panel is. And then you have an admin panel. 
I can't get to the admin panel right now because my WordPress installation, I'm locked out of it. There's some different things, but that's no problem. I'm going to freshly install WordPress on this domain, and then I'll be able to get to the admin panel. So we're going to go to the C panel first. And this could be a little overwhelming and confusing and things like that. So I'm just directing you to directly what you need to do to get your website up. So we're going to go into the control panel. And um, remember I said you need a platform. Well, here's your platforms, right? You got Joomla. That's one of your options. Because site panel, which is your hosting company, they only support these ones. So you have to choose one of these. There's other platforms other than these. But these are really where you want to be. The industries use these right here. So you can either choose Joomla. THCTrust.org is actually written in Joomla. Or you can use WordPress, which is what we're going to do right now. So you're actually installing the software in your domain space. What is your domain space? Well, that's what you're paying at $385 a month. You're paying to be able to store things and you're paying to be able to execute server applications on your host on your hosting space that's the proper term so we're gonna put WordPress on our hosting space so that we, then we can build a website in WordPress so this is an auto installer it's gonna install system software in our web space and here it is it's some basics you can read about WordPress and all of these things so but now here's the thing you do have to be able to read if you don't read you're gonna get stuck but you're on an overview. These are tabs here. This is where you install it. These are overviews. These are features, screenshots. You can read about this stuff, but we're just going to go for the install. I'm just going to go HTTP because I'm doing just the basic site. I don't have any commercial transactions or anything going on this site. It's going to be just a blog. So I'm going to do HTTP for this. HTTPS is secure socket layer, I think, and that's if you're going to be transmitting financial data or things like that through your website. If you're going to do commerce, you should do HTTPS. Like if you're doing a like a, uh, but for this, we're just going to do a blog. So I'm going to do HTTP. I don't have to choose the domain because this is what I purchased in the beginning when I said www. Uh, whatever it was. Dot coffee. This is the one that I already purchased. Um, in the directory. We're going to keep this basic, so this is just going to create the default directory. That's where I want this to be. And site settings, what do I want to call it? I want to call it cash by email. Site description. Learn to make a living online. This is important. Your username and password, they're gonna provide you with this. Make sure you store this somewhere. You can change this, but I would keep what they generate because it's pretty secure. And this is a password that you probably would never use because you're gonna have passwords for a couple of different things. This is actual password for your WordPress installation and it's password to access a database that um, WordPress uses so you won't use this that often if you're doing something more complex you might use it at a later time so we have this set up we got our passwords and everything and we're gonna go ahead and install it Notice it says propagating the database. So that's what I was telling you. The password is really to access the database. And now we can get into WordPress. So now, let me mention something real quick. This link right here is an important link. So you should copy it and save it somewhere or just you know bookmark it because that's where we're gonna go in a second. So we're going to click the link. Let's see where it takes us. Um, it takes us into our, you see it here. 
This takes us into our WordPress installation. We are in our site administration panel. So it automatically logged us in, but I want to spend a little time showing you how we get here because this is important. But this is where you're going to spend most of your time building your site. This is actually where you go down here and you select a theme. And you probably can't see it here. I'm going to slide this over. But I have a bunch of different themes and options to get started with. So, but we're not going to jump in here just yet. I want to spend a moment showing you how we got here. So I'm going to put this on the screen here. Your website, let me give us a bigger font so you can see. So we'll say yourwebsite.com forward slash WP for WordPress admin. And this is how you would get to your website to do some business, to, you know, to administer or change something on your website. So this is the address, All right? And that's where we are right now. So let me log out of this real quick. I want to just show you because this is important. Okay, I'm logged out the site, right? I just logged out. And now I'm going to go to the link here. So I'm going to click this, go to page. Uh, it opened up in my other browser here, but you still see that's the page where I'm at. Now I got to put in my username and password. Okay, and it logs me right back in again. So again, remember it's your website forward slash WP dash admin is if we go back to SiteGround, remember that's our hosting company. We can just go directly to our website slash forward slash admin to do our site administration. But I have to show you one more significant thing here. So we're now at SiteGround. Okay, so now that we're in SiteGround, another way that you can get to your website, but trust me, you just really want to remember your website forward slash WP for WordPress, then dash admin. That's the easiest way to get there. But you can also go into my accounts on SiteGround. And you see my website sitting here, cash by email. So I can go right here, click it. And you see it took me back here. So a small recap from this lesson is that in order to have a website, you first have to have a hosting company. In this case, our hosting company is SiteGround. There's other hosting companies like GoDaddy and Bluehost. But we're just trying to streamline and get you up and running. So your hosting company is SiteGround. And your platform, once you get inside your hosting company, you have to load a web, host, a web hosting platform like Joomla, Drupal, or in our case, WordPress. So WordPress is your platform. So once you get into site ground, you load either, you load a platform onto your domain name. We load it WordPress. And then you log in and you're ready to create a website. You're at the administrators panel. And the first thing that you're gonna do, we're not gonna do it here. We're gonna do it in the next lesson, but you would go here and you would select a theme. Uh, right now, if you go to your domain name that you just purchased, you're going to only have a basic site saying something that WordPress is going to put there. We're going to see that in the next video. Make sure you click the links below this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the second part of this video. You should do these steps first. You should be caught up to this point before you move on to the second part of the video.